Um, some of the uh, information coming out is that there's going to be some radical um, changes to the CBC. The system stays, but some radical changes, including uh, from what the Senate newspaper is highlighting here, where the uh, the, the learners take uh, two years in uh, pre-primary, uh, six years in uh, primary school. Uh, the rest is three, three, three. That will change. Uh, that is what they're proposing, that is, uh, could change to uh, a new one of two uh, years in pre-primary six, uh, in primary two, uh, uh, two, four, and three in the rest of, 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 of the calendar. So that is a story that is being highlighted there. Some changes coming, uh, proposed changes, that is, with the CBC um, curriculum but not necessarily the system uh, changing. So um, that's a story in the standard newspaper. Remember that while setting up the team, uh, the president asked the committee to suggest how best CBC um, can be implemented in a manner that addresses uh, the challenges that have actually dogged it, including the issue of whether uh, the, 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 the grade six should transition to high school or they should remain in uh, their primary school uh, uh, premises. So that is also um, uh, being highlighted here. And chances are, if they're going to adopt the new uh, um, uh, way of implementing CBC in terms of the number of years that the learners are going to take in, uh, in the CBC system, then that would mean that the grade six uh, pupils will not transition to uh, uh, junior high that is in secondary schools, but will stay in their uh, um, respective schools where they are right now. So those are some of the proposals that are being uh, mulled over um, in as far as the task force is concerned. Now, moving on to another story, a hearing of petition against four IBC commissioners uh, to kick off today. The Justice and Legal Affairs Committee will be listening to the petitions against the four uh, IBC commissioners. And this is in regards to the 9th August polls uh, results. Remember that these commissioners did actually differ with the uh, uh, the chairman, that is Wafula Chebukati, over the results. So that in itself, um, you know, uh, made uh, the Kenya Kwanzaa members of parliament feel like they should not hold office. So that is a story that we'll be following for you today, even uh, during our news bulletins. Remember that the petition starts today. And um, the petition filed separately by Republican Party, Reverend uh, Nduga Thumbi, Geoffrey Langat, and Jeffrey O'War argue that the four have no legitimacy to hold their current positions. Yeah, the, uh, the petitioners want Parliament to recommend formation of a tribunal by President William Ruto to, uh, to remove the four uh, from office. So that is the story in this Senate. But meanwhile, um, the, uh, the vice chair, that is uh, Cherera, Jelena Cherera, has actually moved to court uh, to stop, you know, uh, she was given uh, uh, two, is it four days? Uh, the four days timeline. She's trying to say that the four days timeline to respond to the petition against her is actually not enough. And so that is also a story being covered here in this standard newspaper. Cherera going to the courts to, uh, you know, ask for more time to be able to respond to the petition. Also, a story that has been uh, touched by my colleagues, Maze Imports, MP split over plans to oust Korea. So, Pokot, uh, South Member of Parliament, David Pokosing, is actually leading in terms of uh, collecting signatures to oust uh, the CS um, Korea out of uh, office, mainly because of the issue of maize importation. Remember that um, the CS Moses Korea said that uh, 10 million bags um, are already, you know, duty free. Uh, 10 million bags of duty free maize uh, will be imported into the country. So that is also a story in the standard newspaper. Now, um, moving to another story. And this one is actually in sports. Um, you know, Cristiano Ronaldo, I have, I've been told by one of my colleagues that uh, is no longer with Manchester United. But yes, we still look at Ghana versus Portugal as Arsenal versus Manchester United. So there, Ronaldo out to impress 
uh, in Portugal's first game against Blacksters. Uh, Ghana faces an uphill battle to make it through to the knockout stages. Um, and so we hope that even in this uh, particular games today, Cameroon versus Switzerland, Ghana versus uh, uh, Portugal, that actually Africa will be having a smile on our faces uh, today. So another kind of not very uh, uh, happy story, or at least not impressive, is Kenya staring at a possible ban. And this is as far as athletics is concerned. I know Kenya is at the brink of being kicked out of the international athletics competition over rising doping cases among her athletes. Uh, the World Anti-Doping Agency, that is WADA, and the Athletics Integrity uh, Unit, uh, I. AIU will hold a meeting tomorrow in uh, Monaco to discuss Kenya's athletics phase, uh, fate. So that is a story that our sports team will be following up and um, uh, it could be a sad, a sad state of affairs if uh, Kenya was to be banned in as far as um, athletics is concerned because what is athletics without our athletes in, in Kenya? Kenya is uh, the home of athletics. So that will be a story that our, 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 our sports team uh, uh, will be actually following up for you. So thank you so much for keeping it. Channel One, we still have much more coming up in just a short while. Uh, Doreen and uh, Stephanie will be bringing you uh, the entertainment segment and uh, uh, stay tuned for that. So I want to leave you for now, but I'll be back later on. Remember, today is Thanksgiving uh, uh, Day being celebrated in America and Canada. But even here in Kenya, we have so much to be grateful for. Uh, this far, God has brought us. And so I want to take a break for now. Remember that... World Cup, Eco KBC, you can watch it on Signet, Ghana versus Portugal, Cameroon taking on Switzerland, who will take the day.